Hello and welcome to this video. Today there are big news, at least for a few of the Port Up fans, because now it's possible to connect an Xbox controller wirelessly directly to some of the Port Up hubs. And that's possible thanks to the newest Pybrix beta version, um, because well, it supports the direct connection to Xbox controllers. That works with the Technic Control Plus hub, the Mindstorms or Spike Prime Large Technic hub, and the Spike Essential Small Technic hub. The City and Boost Move hub are not supported, and um, you can use them free freely and program them either in this paid um, Scratch environment. The Python environment is free, so you can also use it free, but then you will have to, do, uh, to use Python. But first, let's get to the topic of compatible controllers. There are a few limitations, but uh, for the TLDR, you can use the buttons and analog inputs of Bluetooth Xbox controllers, but not of other controllers. And now let's get to the details. Only Xbox controllers are supported and only the ones with Bluetooth connectivity. That means that all Xbox One and Series controllers are supported, except for the first Xbox One controller and the Xbox Elite One controller. The Xbox Elite Two controller is supported. Unsupported Xbox One controllers have the Xbox logo in the plastic of the trigger and not in the plastic of the, the surface. There is an image on the screen where you can see the difference. And basically that's how you can detect if your controller is supported or not. The lower ones are supported. About all Xbox controllers since 2016 are supported. The official Xbox controllers, not third party ones. Other controllers might be possible in the future. Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4 and or PlayStation 5 controllers, however, are not supported in the foreseeable future. And that's because LEGO hubs use Bluetooth Energy or BLE while the Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4 and 5 controllers use Bluetooth Classic or BTC. And they are not directly compatible. The controllers might need an update if it's possible at all. So at the moment, you can only use BLE controllers and maybe in the future there will be other BLE controllers supported. For example, the Amazon Luna controller is a BLE compatible controller and the 8-bit to SNK Neo Geo wireless controller, it supports BLE as well. And there are also a few mobile ones, but some BLE controllers, like the Google Stadia or the Steam controller, are not supported anymore. And it's not sure if they will be compatible at one point with uh, Pybrix. That brings us to the topic of things that are compatible, because controllers have a multitude of inputs and outputs, and many are supported, but not all of them. All inputs are supported, which means that all buttons, triggers, and joysticks are supported. That can be a total of 16 buttons, plus the more or less analog triggers and joysticks. There is no movement or gyro supported, because Xbox controllers simply don't have that. For joysticks and triggers, there's analog input supported. So for example, you can only press the button a bit, and then the vehicle will only drive a bit, or you can press the trigger a bit, and then the vehicle can drive slow, and when you press the trigger a bit more, then it will drive faster. It's not really analog because you still have steps, but uh, it has like a hundred steps per direction. So you have many steps to use. For the Xbox Elite 2 controller, the four extra pedals on the back can also be used, but make sure to select a profile with no button map to the pedal, because otherwise you could have funny uh, side effects. Which is not supported is the LED on the controller or the rumble motors. Both can't be used, sadly. Rumble would be cool, for example, to detect things that are near to the device or to the vehicle, and it could have a sensor, and then you could have a rumble effect if the, uh, if the vehicle is near to something or close to something, or maybe for a beep when something drives backwards. So I hope that we will get rumble in the future. Which also isn't supported are the expansion ports on the uh, on the lower side or on the front side of the controller and also not the earphone plug because they're not usable with Bluetooth energy. You might have to prepare the controller because it might have to be updated first. That's possible with the Xbox accessory app on Windows and Xbox. Simply follow the steps to update the controller. Then it should be compatible if it has Bluetooth. And at the moment it only works with Pybrix beta. 
Um, you can go to the settings and usually here is the option to return to the stable version or to switch to the beta. And in my case, I'm at the beta. And at the moment, Xbox controllers only work with the beta. So let's get how to use it for this graphical environment. You can go to the setup and then you can find the controller. It has to be set up first and then you can go to input and get the values. They are in the buttons and force category. Here you can get button presses and you can get the analog inputs. And for example, um, I can print them to the screen or to the uh, command line. And here I can enter the buttons. I can select the button which I want to check and also the trigger or the joysticks. I can also now check the code of this uh, code. And here I can see how to use them. First, uh, the controller has to be imported. It's similar to the powered up remote, um, how to use it. Then you can set it up. And afterwards, you can check the buttons with this or the analog values with this. Still, it's not analog, it's still values, but it's many values instead of like a button is pressed or not pressed. And there's also a documentation for this. For that, you can go to this book. I can close the code view. And here, you will not find it on the home screen. You will have to go to this extra thing. And there, you can find the I.O. devices. And there, you can find the Xbox controllers. And here, you can find the buttons that you can check. That's especially interesting for Python code because then you know uh, how you can access the buttons. For example, P1, P2, P3, and P4 are the pedals of the Xbox Elite 2 controller. And you can also code the controller in Python. Again, Python is free. I will also link the code that, that you see here in the description. So you can use this code if you want. It's for the uh, app control transformation vehicle that LEGO released a, a few years ago. But of course, you can also change the code so that it works for your purposes. And here I also imported the Xbox controller and I defined it. And then I check for button presses. I can then check in code if uh, the button is in the press variable or in the press list. And I can also use these analog inputs. Usually for the controllers, uh, for the joysticks, you have joystick left and right, and zero is the X direction of the joystick, and uh, one would be the Y direction of the joystick. For the triggers, I think zero is the left trigger, and one is the right trigger. And that's basically how you can use it. Uh, this example code also assumes that you have a LED with the app transformation vehicle in port C. You can simply remove this line and this line and this line if you don't have the LED, but otherwise this code should work fine. Now, if you want to test the code, um, you will have to start it. You can also see uh, for the Control Plus Hub, it will be disconnected from the environment, for, from the program, programming environment. You will have to connect it afterwards and you can also not use the console print, but apart from that, it's fine. Um, it, will, it works similarly to the normal powered up remote, but on the first use, with the Xbox controller, you have to pair it first. And for that, you have to start it. Then, uh, or usually when the controller is turned off, simply the LED is off. When you turn it on, it starts to blink slowly, and then it searches for a device that's already paired. But you want to pair a new device, so we, you have to press the pairing button next to the USB charging port uh, for a while until it starts to blink fast, the LED. And then it searches for a new device to pair. Then you can or you can start the program on the hub. Then you can start the pairing mode of the controller. And then both should be paired and it should work afterwards. There might be a small delay after it got paired or connected until it starts. When the controller is uh, paired and connected to device, then it has a constant light. And the pairing only has to be made in the first time when you use it or after you connected the controller to another Bluetooth device, um, you don't have to pair it at each time you turn the controller or the hub on.
But that was it for this overview over the Xbox support for the uh, for Pybrix. If you want to know anything more or if you have any questions, please tell me in the comments. I think that it's really cool for people that want it. It's pretty clear that for one, gamepads are very good input devices because they were developed over many years and they are pretty much the gold standard to control anything. And also, LEGO would have never made such a sophisticated controller like a game controller. So this is probably one of the best input methods that we could get. There's also the lead controller, which is which has rubber on the sides, which is really convenient to use. And LEGO never would make a premium controller just for Control Plus or Powered Up. But that's for the news of uh, Pyrex again. Tell me what you want to see for this. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. And bye.